this video is completely just an impulsive decision and I'm probably going to regret it, but content. What's poppin'? I already have blonde parts of my hair, but they're too dark to take any of the colors that I have. So my plan is to just bleach the tips. Pray for me. Okay, honestly, this whole video is just going to be me winging it. I'm kind of scared. I was on FaceTime with my friend Janelle, and she started putting doubts in my head. She was telling me that it's not going to be blended, and it's going to look bad, and... Now I'm kind of thinking she has a point. Okay, so I have the bleach mixed and I'm so glad I found gloves. I feel like I'm really not thinking this through, but like... Some are no grants, right? I'm just gonna get started, I guess. I need to stop like stalling. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay. Once I do it, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. There will be no turning back. I'm... <sighs> okay. Okay, I should put on my glasses. I can't see shit. Let's do like upwards like that. I see hairdressers do that. Brad Mondo is quaking. Okay, so I finished this side. I don't see it lightning or anything. I'm just going to begin the other side now. Maybe when I'm done, if I still don't see enough lightning, light, light, lighten, light, light, lighten me. Um, I have a hair dryer, so I could put heat on it to make the process go faster. <sighs> Or if this goes wrong, I just do my whole head. No, no, we're not gonna go this. Someone needs to stop me. My mom doesn't know. She's currently in her room, minding her own business. I don't know. I don't see the color lifting at all. And that's kind of concerning. But I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just try to dye on top anyways. Let's do this thing. So I just washed it out and it didn't do shit. I think I should try to bleach it again, but like, I don't know what I did wrong. Let me blow dry it. Okay, so I just finished with round two of bleaching. I think it's getting lighter. At this point, if I wash this out and it's still not how I want it to be, I'm just gonna die over it. The thing that I'm worrying about is if I put blue on top of yellowy hair, I don't want it to turn out greenish. I'm not going for that Shrek, get out my swamp hair look, you know? I'm impatient, so once again, let's fire it up, you know what I'm saying? Let's get lit. Just finished drying my hair, and this is the lightest it got. There's still a lot of dark parts. I guess I'm just gonna die over it anyways, and if it comes out bad, then I brought this upon myself, you know? Yummy. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? It looks like a blue airhead. That was close. Don't do that. This may be a bad idea, but I think I'm gonna mix in some purple, like just because I'm feeling a little like spicy you know i'm feeling a little what's it called i'm feeling um what's that word again adventurous i don't know why i just don't have the mental capacity to open these things got it i kind of don't feel like using the brush i almost called it a spatula <laughs> there's no turning back now <laughs> let's at least try to make this not look like shit fun this is so Fun. Oh my god, two years ago I did it pink. It started off as hot pink and then it faded into a pastel pink and oh my god I was obsessed with it and everybody always complimented me. That's another thing I love about dyeing my hair There'll always be people complimenting you even if your hair looks like shit like just because they like the color, you know If there are any MCR stands that are like, why are you doing that to that shirt? It used to be white and then I got a chocolate ice cream stain on it and I never wore it again. And then I found it in a random cajon and it looks yellow. So it needed to die, just like MCR. Fuck. Blend up. We're not gonna talk about what that looks like. Oh my God, why do I keep doing it? I think I'm getting too confident because it's probably not gonna look this good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a story about how I almost died. I was outside and the apartment complex I live at has like this little playground type of thing and there's like this little bench and I was sitting there talking with my friend. I don't know why but there happens to be a lot of skunks and different animals like the guaches and raccoons apparently that live around there. So I'm just chilling, talking with my friend, having a free therapy session, you know. Out of the corner of my eye, I see something moving. So automatically I'm like, Water! The way we were sitting, like the way we were positioned was like, this is us sitting and this is the playground and we're facing towards the playground. And this is the skunk coming all the way over here like, mm, running like through the playground and we're just watching it happen like, and then next to the playground is a dumpster. So the skunk goes right into the dumpster and I'm there staring at it like, oh my God. And then I see it casually just exit the dumpster and then it turned into our direction and you just see it like, so you just see it. Like you just see the bouncing, you see the tail. And I was like, oh my God. And I started freaking out. Like I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. So my first instinct, was to stand on top of the little table that I was sitting at. And I'm freaking out, right? So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And my friend is like, shut up. So I stop and she stopped. And we're both just there like. And the skunk stopped and it turned away. That's the end of my story, like and subscribe. That's how I almost died of a heart attack. But I'm a survivor. No hoes or skunks can bring me down. I feel like this side is gonna come out uglier than the other side. I can already like tell. I don't, what's wrong with me? I'm like, I can tell. I can already tell. Like as if I'm that sort of even predicting the future or some shit. Like I can tell this is gonna come out really bad. Like, shut up. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm just gonna. Okay, so I really want this to come out as bright as possible. So I'm gonna leave it in for like, I don't know how many hours. And then I'm gonna wash it out blow dry it and then show you the mess I created so my hair is still kind of wet but I already know that I need to do it again but it's like 4 in the morning right now so let me just reveal my mistake <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna see if I can try re it tomorrow and hopefully it looks better so I'll see you tomorrow when I look ugly as hell in the morning so I just woke up, changed my shirt again. I have gone through about three shirts in this video. This is literally my fourth shirt, but they're all shirts I don't care about, so whatever. I don't want to stain my neck anymore, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking when the blue fades, maybe I can do purple or I don't know. I'll let you guys decide actually. Comment what color I should do next after this fades. I may or may have not gone a little carried away. I didn't do my whole head, I promise. I wonder if like the back of my neck is stained. Is it? Huh? I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. I'll come back when my hair is washed and dry. Hello. So it's been many hours later. You can kind of see here already, but I guess it's time to reveal how my hair looks. So drum roll, please. It honestly came out a lot better than I thought it would. I am very glad it doesn't look green and swampy and gross. But yeah, this concludes my random impulsive video. If you made it all the way here, don't forget to comment what color I should do next after this fades out. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications to become part of the Alote family. Follow me on all my social media, which will be down below. Bye!